Hello again. Today you're going to meet one of my best teachers. The bunker is one of my best friends. It will teach me a good impact with my irons and my wedge shots. This is a pitching wedge. And today I'm going to talk about why it's so important to spend some time in the bunker hitting full shots, not just practicing bunker shots. If you try to hit a green bunker shot, you're supposed to hit it fat. You're supposed to hit the sand maybe two inches before the ball. But when you want to hit it perfect with your irons or your wedges on the grass, you really want to hit the ball first. This is by far my best teacher. Every spring and now in the fall I try to spend some time here because when the bunker is a little bit wet it's very nice to actually practice in the sand. I will hit five shots. I will hit the one first one fat and you will see why I put the balls in a somewhat good line. They are side by side because afterwards I hit the ball I'm not sure where it was. So when I hit it fat, we're going to see that it's fat. Now I can see that I was way too early into the sand and that makes this more like a green bunker shot, but that wasn't the goal. I was playing Bay Hill a few years ago. Uh, I played with one of my childhood heroes, a hockey player. Um, and I really thought that I was pretty good at golf. I hit the driver perfect that day. I hit so many fairways, but every wedge shot was fat. Every one. On the flight home, I was just crying. I was so bad at golf. It wasn't really my golf swing that was the problem. It was my impact that was the problem. That year I spent almost one hour a day practicing just impact. And today I'm supposed to hit it good almost every time. Not like the guys on TV, but very close. So let's hit this one. It's going to be a normal shot and you will see that the divot in the sand should start at the golf ball. It was absolutely perfect. I hit the ball and I hit the ground. I hit the ground where the ball was. Again, we hit a fat one to feel the difference between hitting way behind the ball. And again, try to hit it ball first or ground at the ball instead of before. Don't always try to make it easier. If you make your practice a little bit harder, you will get better. Don't always look for the club that will help you. Try to make yourself better. Upgrade yourself instead your equipment or whatever you're trying to make easier. Golf will never be easier. But if you practice good, you probably be good. I love spending time here in the sand because it helps me get better. It's much harder to hit a good golf shot here than out in the grass on my fairway. But now when, when the fall comes, it's a little wet. So I need to be really good here to relax on the golf course. Try to spend some time in the sand, not just hitting bunker shots, green bunker shots. Try to hit full shots and your impact will improve very much.